Hey, what's up, Luke? How are you? Good, James. How are you? Good. Sorry, the music just kicked on in the arena. Um, hey, just what is the latest on Ty, uh, Tyrese? I know he's out tonight, but what's the prognosis? How long do you think we're going to not see him? Yeah, he's day to day right now, James. So, it, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, obviously, we, you know, we want to get him back out there on the court, but um, we'll just keep evaluating him every day. And, you know, whether that turns into one day, three days or into all star, we just we won't know until, uh, you know, until the time passes. Marshall Harris. Hey, Luke, just to, to, to get back uh, home, I guess, and, and try to get settled here, but you don't have Tyrese. What, what are the biggest challenges that you're looking at with this uh, Hornets team tonight? Uh, individual defense. You know, this team, they got a lot of, of playmaking, talented guard, uh, wing type of players, and, and they put, you know, they just keep coming at you. Um, so if, if, we're, if we have to be ready to take on that challenge of keeping our man in front of them, because uh, as they get you in that that uh, what we call the blender, uh, they, they got a lot of good passers and, and they got they got a, a lot of good shooters. So that, that it puts a lot of stress on your defense. So uh, we got individual defense. We got transition defense. And then, you know, as always, we got to be ready to rebound the basketball and, and take care of the basketball. Hello, coach. I would like to ask you about uh, Lamelo Ball and uh, Terry Rozier. They are the two main main players of uh, the Charlotte Hornets in the whole season. How important for you is to slow down, slow down them? And uh, what do you expect to see from your players tonight on both ends of the floor? Yeah, you know they're very good. Uh, like I said, they got they got a lot of uh, of, of good uh, talented players on that team, and uh, they're playing at a at a high level. So. Uh, you know, Rozier and, 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 and Ball do a lot as far as getting uh, their, the teammates involved and getting other guys shots. But, you know, Hayward, is if he plays tonight, he's, he's an all-star caliber player. And, and they got some, uh, you know, they got some explosive athletes over there, too. But uh, to me, again, it comes back to, to starting with uh, guarding, guard, well, starting with transition defense and then uh, guarding the ball, guarding your, our individual men. Uh, as they get into half court sets. Hey, Coach Luke, how you doing? Good, Tony. Good. Yeah, um, I just want to uh, ask you: uh, the nine game loser streak that's in the re review. That's understandable, and that's great. But um, a fan had a, a question that I think it was last month when you said that you know maybe the players was kind of disrespecting the game. Do you think that's probably what they kind of like fell into when, you know, they was going through that, through that, through that stretch? Uh, who are, do I feel our players are disrespecting they, they, the game? Yeah, that nine game stretch, do you think that, or they, you did say they were working harder, but you do just yeah. think, you know. No, I, I don't, th I, I won't say that. I, I think we have a group of guys that works really, uh, for the most part, works really hard. We've, you know, during that stretch, we, um, you know, we, we had our, our struggles for sure. Again, I go back to um, to us not being at, at the, the level yet to, to withstand the injury uh, bug as far as, you know, it contain, uh, you know, consistently staying and winning games that we had kind of built our, our, ourselves up to with a very tight eight man rotation. Um, I, I think as we started getting hit with injuries, that kind of collapsed quickly. And, you know, we uh, we lost some of that that confidence we were playing with. We lost some of that rhythm we were playing with. And, and this league is tough, Tony. It's tough to, to win. Um, you need, you know, in, unless you're one of these teams with multiple uh, all stars on it, you need the, the cohesiveness of the entire group just to give yourself a chance. So uh, I, I think it's more than that, more of that than um than us disrespecting the game at all. I think we got a group of guys in here that works very hard uh, and is giving uh, giving a lot in, in trying uh, to, to go out there and win each and every night. Hi, Luke. I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on Rashawn. Obviously, he was greatly missed when he was out for those uh, couple games, but um, – the game uh, last time out, I mean, just really explosive first half and then just solid in the second. Um, what is the one thing that you're seeing that you like and something that you, you really want to see him continue to improve at? 
Well, I, I think his, um, his his passion that he plays the game with is, is contagious. Uh, you know, he, he's I think now that he's been here for a while, he's gotten more comfortable and uh, willing to uh, yell out coverages to challenge teammates, uh, you know, when, when the job's not being done. Uh, at a high enough level and these are things you'd love to see out of out of a center position because that's the spot that really anchors a defense uh, you know your guards or your front line it's up to them to put pressure and not let that ball move freely and then your big is you got to anchor it so to see him continue to gain that confidence and um, an ability to communicate from that spot is you know is a great thing something I want to continue to see him to uh, take ownership on and, you know, the, the, just the, the passion he plays the game with is, is so valuable for our team. G-Man. So, G-Man's got on mute. Go. Sorry about that, Coach. All good, um, G-Man. You were talking the other night about, you know, having – the experience of going through a nine game losing streak and taking the next step in, in learning from that experience. What do you consider the key to accomplishing that? Well, um, you know, I, I think that, I think that from a, a standpoint of, of what we gave, uh, you know, in, in that Detroit game from, uh, from just being a mentally locked in type of, follow what we're trying to get done communication not rely on on just making shots to win is you know is an incredible lesson to uh, try to continue to learn i mean we couldn't make a shot uh, we we threes layups it felt like nothing was going in but we still had a chance to win because we were um you know we were competing our tails off on, on the defensive end and uh and getting stops when we needed to. And then eventually those shots started going again in the fourth quarter and we were able to pull a win away. So uh, just the idea and the mentality of, um, you know, what it needs to look like each and every night uh, and, and no matter who's on the floor with injuries, five and seven, um, you know, all that type of stuff coming into play, uh, still finding a way to grind that one out is, is something I think we can uh, take from the Detroit game. Jason Anderson. Hi, Luke. How are you today? Good, Jason. Uh, good. Um, we've seen some nice moments over the last couple of weeks, I would say, from uh, Fox and Bagley kind of connecting on some things. Um, how, what, how would you assess the chemistry between those two guys? And, and would, you, uh, would you agree it's, it seems to be improving lately? It, it has improved a lot. Um, and I think that I was talking to the coaches about it uh, the, today, actually, about that chemistry and where where it's it's going. Um, and, you know, it, it's one of the things that, it, you know, as the season's going, we're looking to continue to grow is, is that, uh, you know, the, the, the individual guys for sure, but, you know, those types of pairings and how guys are playing together. And, and you know, from my time here, and I know, unfortunately, Marvin missed most of last season, um, but there is a nice little, uh, you know, two man rhythm that those guys are, are, are playing with that, that has come a long way since the start of the season. Look, I'm just curious. Uh, a lot of a lot of fans were really uh, excited about this matchup because of uh, Tyrese Halliburton, the way he's played. And obviously, with LaMelo Ball, you don't get to see him much uh, being the Western Conference as a coach and really as a fan. Uh, how much do you? Um, how, how similar or dissimilar do you think those two guys' games are as playmaking young guards? Yeah, I, I think that where they're very similar is they make their teammates better. And that's a, that's a, that's a quality that every coach is looking for. You're looking for guys on your team um, that, that uh, you know, can bring up the play of the group as a whole. And, and watching film on, on uh, Charlotte, the, you know, the last couple of days, Lamelo is doing doing a great job of that for that Charlotte team. He plays with passion. He gets people, you know, open looks. He gets in the paint. Will pass up his own layup to get somebody a dunk. Um, and you know, Tyrese does a lot of that for us too. Uh, you know, he he's getting in, he's getting in the paint, attacking downhill, 
uh, coming up with steals, like just things that give your team uh, extra confidence. And for young players to have that uh, that that trait is, um, you know, that that that's that's rare and and something that uh, is exciting for uh, for who gets to coach guys like that. Hey, Coach Jacob with USA Today. Um, kind of on that same note, I mean, you obviously spent a couple of years coaching Lonzo and then coming up against Lamelo tonight. How would you kind of compare their games? Have you do you see similarities between the two of them? Yeah, it's it's fun. You know, watching it, you see a lot of Lonzo in in Lamelo. Um, and I, you know, I love coaching Lonzo. I think Lonzo's got a a very bright future ahead of him. Uh, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a brilliant playmaker that pushes the pace. And uh, like I said, gets his, gets his teammates involved. Uh, teammates love playing with him. So uh, there's a, there's a lot of similarities uh, in, in watching uh, prepping for this game and, and thinking back on coaching Lonzo.